Hi, we're here at the uh, world premiere of Visions of Yvette. We're here with the, uh, an individual that played the social worker in the film. Very passionate role. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you, the role you played in the film? Yes, um, I played Michelle Rodriguez. And um, in the film, actually, Michelle Rodriguez, and of course, as a social worker, um, her job is basically to um, really just crack down on um, situations in homes that are not feasible for children. So basically, what once she finds out that this particular child, which is a very young child, is in some type of danger or jeopardy, um, she decides to really investigate, um, of course, you know, um, the actress, uh, Jenna Figueroa, uh, and really find out what is going on with this home situation. And as she continues to do her research and is really keeping an eye on what's happening with that household, what ends up what she ends up finding out is that it's actually worse than she had thought it was and had no choice but to step in as the state normally does and intervene and pretty much just take the child away from that household to mm -hmm. make sure that the child would be able to be in a better environment. And, um, you know, it's interesting because uh, I've had the opportunity to um, actually see um, homes broken up because of some type of addiction, you know, taking place among the parents. And it's not actually a good feeling. I mean, I, it was easy for me to portray that role because I've been around these mm -hmm. scenarios but I think it was also um, heartbreaking because you don't ever want to really see a family broken up you never really want to see a child taken away from their mother but um, what happens is that you know a social worker their job is, is, is the welfare being of that child so I think part of the social worker um, you know it hurts them to really take this child away from their, their parents or their mother, like it is in this film. But however, the social worker's main goal is to, to get this child help. And you know what, I think sometimes social workers also work with you know the parents as best as they can, based on whatever how they're allowed to be able to work with the parent. But if they just never really see a progression, you know, in the individual, yeah. um, they, they don't have a choice. They have to just make sure that they can try to take this child and really put it in a safe environment, in a family that will love them, in a family that will actually provide and never have the child go hungry or unbathed or just, you know, in an environment that's not safe. Mm. And did you find that you could, you could relate to this role, I mean, in any way? I mean, you have a background in <laughs> Yes, I did. Helping? Um, I've had actually the opportunity um, to uh, volunteer at an agency, and I did work part-time for an um, agency in uh, Mount Holly, New Jersey, called Servicios Latinos de Burlington County. And I've what is it called again? Servicios Latinos de Burlington County. It's okay. an actual um, Hispanic agency that provides services for individuals in need of human services, immigration, and other areas. And I have seen some situations of domestic violence. I've seen some situations of a child being taken away. I've had, I have colleagues right now where their children have been taken away from them because they just can't get rid of the addiction that they have right. and a lot of people think that it's very easy for someone to just overnight give up an addiction and it's not. It's just as all the panelists said, it is a recovery for recovery and one of the things that people need to understand is that it's a process. When someone hits rock bottom like Yvette did in this film, it's kind of hard to pick up those pieces and start from scratch and then have a whole life all over again. It does take time. It takes people some years. It some people actually never recover from the addiction. I've had the opportunity actually to see a young lady who she was also getting herself her life in tribe just like Yvette was. And the one day that I saw her and I looked at her and I said, hey, you look really great today. Like I saw somewhat of the transition. That very night, unfortunately, she came upon the same influence that she had been with before. And, and then she ended up disappearing. And she ended up you know, being in a situation that was not good. And unfortunately, her kids did get taken away. So as far as the role 
um, you know, it, I think it's one of my most challenging roles. Mm -hmm. um, I, I remember when we were actually filming it, you know, we had done numerous takes on it of me yeah. yelling at Yvette. Yeah. There were times that we had even done a scene where I was standing up and I was very, you know, uh, just very angry. And of course, then you have to kind of just take a breather and calm down and say, okay, I'm not that person. Right, <laughs> I'm right. just a character. And, uh, and, my, and my whole objective is to just make sure that I portray a role the best that I can. Okay. And, and after seeing the, the, the film, I don't know if this is your first time seeing it in its entirety, like, you know, other than just your part. I mean, like, what did you think of the, pro the film overall? Oh my gosh. I mean, I, you know, my hat goes out to Patrick. He did a phenomenal job. I mean, it's one thing when you read a script and then you go in and you do your own part that you're supposed to, you know, be filming as an actress for mm -hmm. these particular scenes. But it's another thing when you come and you just see the whole development and you yeah. wish it. Because one of the things that I loved about the film is how he really took us into that character of Yvette. I mean, right. just like I said, you know, the, the audience loves her. So I love the, the, the writer, I love what he did with this film, mm. I love the different depictions that are in the film that have to do with you know, domestic violence, that have to do with um, drug addiction, that have to do just with family life, that have to do with spirituality yeah. and religion, and have to do with society and just the system and how the system works. And you know what, just like anything else, um, unfortunately there's always, you know, um, And how was it working with uh, Patrick and, and your, your, your cast members? Oh my gosh, I mean, he, he was just great to work with. Um, I love to work with directors that give you the freedom and liberty to also be able to portray the character um, the way you've done your homework as an actor to do so. And um, he was, it's so great to work with him because he's so down to earth. I mean, he's a really great writer and so the, the, the way he wrote the script for my character was very easy for me to just Thank you so much for your time.